Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this Christmas filter. So let's close this project and uh, I'm going to give you a link and in that link uh, it's going to be linked to my down, uh, Dropbox. You will need to download this snowflakes. So I already downloaded it but you will have to do it. Okay, so let's create a new project and it's going to be head decoration project. So I have had the question project open. So first thing that we need to do is uh, delete this head. And also you show height patch editor. Select everything here and also delete it. And let's close patch editor by pressing this X. Okay. Now time to find our head for the Santa Claus home. Let me switch to my iPhone. And I'm going to search for the Santa head. So here is Christmas. And I'm putting import free and waiting for it to download. While it's downloading, I want to tell you that I have my uh, Gumroad page and it's like a store where I sell 3D eyelashes, which is more fit the eyes better. And I sell uh, eye lenses with different colors. Uh, also, there is like a, a makeup uh, um, filter and filter with the glitter. Uh, filter with, which makes face look like a baby, filter that makes your eyes bigger. So there's lots of different products. So you might want to check out. I'm going to leave the link to my Gumroad store in the description of this video. Okay, now it's done. I'm looking down here. And now I will need to drag this hat to drag here so now we have this hat I'm going to resize it and let's change the scale because it's too big so uh, for the head it's going to be uh, for the y I mean x is going to be 0 0.135 for the y it's going to be 0. 1, 3, and for the Z it's going to be 0 0.112. So the head is smaller. Now it's time to change uh, its position. So position is going to be for the X 0 0.03577. For the Y it's going to be 0 point one three five six one and for the y y it's going to be minus minus zero point zero nine seven nine five also we need to change the rotation so i'm deleting this value and putting new one new one is going to be minus ninety Point two eight seven one four for the y it's gonna be minus zero point one four four five two and for the z it's gonna be zero point two four zero three six so our head looks pretty good, but let me pause. Uh, so, for if you would like to like change the position of your uh, head, you you can click here to to D, and like zoom out, and then you can drag it's like to one side here or up or down or more like into depth, like to the back or front. So check it out, uh, and uh, I'm gonna keep it how it is now. And if you want the, the head to be bigger, 
you also can change the scale so you can make it bigger for example if you want to be wider change uh, x value or if you want to be like more taller change uh, y value so you can adjust the way you want now we are going to the christmas hat and i want to show you that it doesn't have the sparkles but if we click on this material and we change roughness to zero we get the sparkles so i'm going to change it to zero okay so we are done with the head let me add actually uh, add click on face tracker then add then search for the face mesh and this face mesh is a little bit like behind so i'm gonna pull it a little bit front so i just pulled this uh, blue one to myself and now i'm clicking to plus create new material this material is going to be retouch and in the shader tab i'm clicking retouching and now my face looks skin looks on the face smoother okay the last step is we need to add particle system so I'm clicking at the, again add object and searching for the particle system. So we have our particle system and now I'm going to change its position. So let me change here. It's going to be 0 0.00588. For the Y, it's going to be 0. 22951 and for the Z I'm not going to change anything scale up I'm going to keep the same and for the rotation uh, I'm going to keep uh, X and Y zeros but I'm going to change the Z and Z is going to be 178.53121 so basically those particles were supposed to go uh, uh, before up. Now they're going to go down. Now I'm clicking to plus on add material. And let me again resize. And I'm creating new material. And I'm going to call them snow flakes. So now I'm going to the... Um, actually here to my downloads and I'm going to drag this on the snowflake number two but you can drag the one you like the most the most it's just different type of the snowflakes so that's this type uh, other ones have like different uh, just different shape so this one and that one I'm picking the, the second one I just like it the most so now I'm going to make the snowflakes and I'm going to the material and I'm picking snowflake too. So let me play on play. And you can see like farther it's like starts, uh, those flakes starts coming, but we need to play around with the settings. So I'm going to the uh, emitter and I'm posing the video of myself. And I'm going to change the emitter type. The emitter type is going to be line. And length, length, I want this line to be bigger. So I'm going to make it 0 0.4. Okay, let's make it play so you can see how it looks. Okay, and we have like uh, 20... Uh, 20 um, snowflakes per second. I'm going to increase it a little bit more. I'm going to put 25. And then we're going to particle. And for the particle, uh, I don't want it to be that big. I want them to be smaller. So I'm picking 0, 0, 4. So they're becoming smaller. But also, I want them to be uh, like different in size. So the variance, I'm picking, I'm picking 
so it's gonna be like changing the size of the um, of those snowflakes and lifespan there have to short lifespan so we need to make it like four four and they're gonna uh, last they're gonna last longer okay so with that uh, being said, let's go again to the snowflakes material. And we, this is really important. You need to click alpha test, otherwise it's going to create like problem by the head. Uh, you don't see it now, but eventually you're going to see. So alpha test we're clicking on. And also we need to change the color. So for the color, you can pick any color that you want. But I'm gonna provide you the color. So basically, I you're probably gonna end up on this page. You need to switch this one if you want to use the color that I provided. And the color that I'm using is gonna be seven uh, ee eight f e. So it's kind of blue. So now we have this color for the snowflake. And the last thing that I would like to do, I would like to add object and it's going to be directional light. So let me pause for a second, zoom out and let me play with this directional light. So basically I pick, I click on directional light and then from this point I pick this one and now I can play around with directional light and look how it shines on the head. So now there is no light. Now it's more light. So I'm trying just to find a, a place like when it shines the most. So this looks like, no, this doesn't look good. So this one looks like it shines more, but you can play around uh, the way you want. So let me play again. So that's it. And also when I was uh, testing this filter, it didn't let me test on Instagram because you said it's too big, but I was able to test it on my phone app. And also when I was trying to upload this filter, uh, it let me to, it let me to upload. So, um, don't, don't worry because this head is going to wait a lot, but if you still want to make the size smaller, you can go to the project, edit properties, compression, and you might play, want to play with the comp compression to make this project smaller. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.